Hi there, Marketing Research students and SPSS users. In this tutorial, we're going to take a nominal variable, or a variable that captures categorical responses, and we're going to turn it into a series of dummy variables. So let's illustrate this. I have in a simple Excel spreadsheet here. Let's imagine that you have a data set, and in our, in our questionnaire, we asked someone their ethnicity, and there were four potential codes. One, two, three, and four. See how there's one through four here? And these four codes are right now, it's clearly a nominal variable. There's four different response categories. If we want to turn this into a series of dummy variables, we remember that dummy variable is simply a column of data that's coded as nothing but zeros and ones. What we would want is any case here where the first person for the ethnicity of one, we'd want to see a one. One, one, for example. Anybody else would be coded simply as a zero. For the second ethnic group, we'd want people coded as twos, coded as now ones. Uh, for the third group, we'd want people coded as ones now. Oops. And for our final group, we should have individuals coded as ones as well. And we should have, and then we know we've done it correctly if there's no more than a single value of one across the row of values. And it looks like visually, by doing this manually, I did it correct. So that's what we want to get to. We want to start here and work over to creating four new variables that meets the dummy code system correctly. Obviously, doing this by hand like I just did is a very bad idea. It's rife with typos. It's going to take a long time, lots of problems. So let's see if we can use SPSS to help us out with this. My SPSS data set, I do have a variable that I'll be using, and we're using the craft beer data set from spring 2014. Under marital status, if we look under values, we see that there are a series of possibilities. Oops, I'm sorry, this is the age variable. Under marital status, we have a 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We'll ignore the I'd rather not say. We'll treat that as missing data for now. So single, married, separated, divorced, widowed. So what we want to do here is we're going to need to create from this marital status variable five new variables, each one of these dummy coded for each one of these possibilities. And here's how we can do this. We go to data, I'm sorry, transform, recode into different variables, hit reset to reset my pane, and I will take my marital status variable and I'll take marital make my new variable here called marital status A or B, C, or D, or we call it single. Hit change. Old and new values. At this point, I know that if someone was coded a 1, I want them to stay coded as a 1. I'll add that. And then all other values, I want coded as 0. So that's my rule for dummy coding. Hit continue. All right, and now I'd have to repeat this step a bunch of times, and I'm not inclined to do that. So I'm going to hit paste and open up my syntax file. I'm going to delete this out. That was a, from a previous exercise. All right, recode marital status, 1 equals 1, everything else equals 0, into marital stat, status, status single. You know, I'm going to copy this line of code. Notice the period at the end. Hit return and paste it. And this time, I'm going to tweak it a little bit. Now, I'm going to take this marital status variable, and where it used to be a 2, so if it saw a 2 previously, it's going to turn it into a 1. Everything else is 0. And that's marital status, and what was marital status? Not, not single, but married. Okay. So I'll call this new variable married. Now I'm going to grab this, this new line. So if someone was a 2, they're going to turn into a 1 on my new variable marital status married. And then I will have my 3s coded into a one in my new variable marital status. And since I seem to be absent-minded today, I forget what the new name was. I'll go check it in a second. And I know I have to do this five times in total. So now my fours will turn into a one. That's group D. And then finally, I will recode a code of five into marital status E. And C, D, and E, I better remind myself what those groups were. I'm a little embarrassed that I'm forgetting here. So let's see. Three, four, and five are C, D, and E. So separated, divorced, and widowed. 
So we will check, go back to our syntax, separated, divorced, widowed. Okay, well that was pretty easy. Let's go ahead and select all this syntax. And notice, before I run this, I wanna encourage you, you don't, you could have done this all manually clicking through the menus, but boy, you'd have to do that five separate times. That's a real pain. Having a little bit of finesse uh, with understanding how basic recoding syntax works allowed us to do this really fast. So I think in this case, it really does behoove you to be a little comfortable with generating the syntax sort of manually uh, a little bit here so we can run this quickly. Right, so I'll go ahead and run the selection. All right, so five things in brand. Execute means it's actually executed the command, all the series of previous commands. And let's take a look at our data view if it worked. So we scroll over. And visually, we should be able to scan through here and see that everything worked just dandy. Very good. Well, it looks like we're in good shape. We could test this a bunch of different ways to verify that it's working correctly. We didn't make any mistakes in our syntax or code. I won't cover that in this particular exercise, but that's how you do it. That's a simple way to create dummy codes uh, using uh, SPSS.